Christmas, so it's possible when you watch this it won't be Christmas. Uh, there's the old tree. My mom just got up. I'm waiting for her to have breakfast before we open presents, presents, presents. So, uh, but I decided, I had, I had, we had opened some of our presents on Christmas Eve, and I decided to review my, uh, STEM Code and Go Robot Mouse game. Um, the ages are recommended for five and up. Now, personally, I think if you get it for a much younger child, uh, it, they may need adult help with it, um, because it can't, it's, it's surprisingly kind of, it can be kind of complicated, though. This is coming from somebody who's an old fogey, and maybe young kids, since they're, you know, able to figure out, you know, phones and all that, a lot of things I can't figure out, maybe, maybe younger kids could do this without adult supervision. Um, anyway, it, it pretty much teaches you the basics of a coding. Uh, the, it's about... $35, uh, I, uh, my mom got it from Toys R Us, I first put it on my wish list for Amazon, and it's something, you know, it, it, it's meant for kids, but it, it can be kind of challenging for an adult, too, I, I, I got it for myself, or, well, I asked my mom to get it for me for Christmas, um, so, the uh, UPC is 7650230283131. And, oh, seven. Okay, I thought they had a question mark. <laughs> okay, so um, the, cat, the game comes with a robot mouse, 16 maze grids uh, that connect to, a, to form a larger board, 22 maze walls, three tunnels, a cheese wedge, 30 double-sided coded coding cards, and 10 double-sided activity cards. Oh, these are, oh, okay. Um, so, uh, first thing you have to know, the mouse doesn't actually have to play on the thing. If you would like to do your own grid, uh, you don't even have to use the tiles. You can even use your own floor, make, make your own, you know, if you have Legos or something, you can program the mouse to do that. On the settings, you've got off, normal, and hyper. Hyper is used if you're going to play on your regular floor. Normal is used to play on the grid. Um, this is the grid. It's got two sides have little uh, tabs. Two other sides have uh, things where they cook up into. And um, let me see how... Yeah, that's got two... Okay, so like this side has two uh, things, so, oh, so I just, uh, yeah, connect them. It's very easy to connect. Um, spacers, like this, this is the wall. You just slide in between. Most of the time it's good. Tunnels, um, just sit on top. They're a little bigger than the spaces, so... When you're setting up your game, just be sure that it doesn't, um, you know, interfere with the mouse moving. The game also comes with you know, these cards that help you to give your ideas on how to uh, set up. Um, they start out very easy to um, having more uh, complex patterns, but you can also do your own, you know, after you get the hang of this, you, you probably want to do your own. The mouse can be commanded to do up to 40 uh, actions, and they have these little cards that you can put in sequence to help you remember your coding. Now, the one thing they neglected to tell you um, is that they have a clear button. This is the clear button. Uh, I thought you just use the clear button after you make a mistake, but if you want to program the mouse to go a different route, you have to clear its memory or you have to turn it off. Either way, it'll clear the mouse's per per memory. If you, uh, 
program it, if you don't clear its memory and you don't turn it off and you want to try to uh, command it to do other things, it's going to start acting weird because what happens is if you leave a program in it, it's just going to uh, go back, you know, go to the last program it was programmed with. The reason why I assumed it, it, it cleared its own memory after it, it fulfilled its function was because, like, there's a toy that's very similar to this called the, it's a Lightning McQueen card. I, I forgot what, is it something, what, do you remember which one that was, Mom? That you program it to make? Fast Talking, oh. Fast Talking? Fast Talking Lightning McQueen. Okay, Fast Talking Lightning Queen, McQueen, you programmed it the same way. Once you told him to go, he would do his thing, and then after that, as far as I know, he never, you know, you would have to reprogram him if you wanted him to do the stuff over again. But the mouse isn't like that. It keeps its program until you clear its memory or you turn it off. So the buttons are clear. Uh, that's an action. Action has the mouse doing a random action like squeak or going forward or going backward. Uh, forward, uh, right reverse, left, and this is the go button. So, um, and his lies actually light up too. Okay, so right now he's off. So anything that he was programmed with. He takes three AAA batteries. I'm putting on normal since I'm using the grid. So I'm going to program him. So first, uh, he goes, he moves five inches. This is something that's going to be important, or one grid space. You're going to have to remember that if you decide to play on the floor. Because it's going to, you know, you, then you're kind of off track. So let's see. So he has to go three tiles up. So one, two, three. Then he's going to have to turn right. Then he's going to have to go forward uh, two, one, two. Then he's going to have to turn right again. And then he's going to go forward three, one, two, three. And then I need him to turn left. And then I want him to do an action. Okay, after I do that, I'm going to press go. So, you see, and this is why you have to clear the memory. See, he remembers. Okay. So if you want to um, make him do something else, so the, in this case I'm going to put the cheese there, uh, you have to hit the clear memory until it, you hear the tone. Okay, so it's, that's telling me it's uh, done it. So uh, you can also turn him off too, that works too. enjoying him. And uh, you can buy an extra mouse, uh, though personally I think it might, you might, might as well just buy another board game because the mouse itself is $22. So you might just want to buy the entire board game and, and have more pieces to play with. But it's a very, it's, it's a fun game for both adults and kids. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed my review, and Merry Christmas, and Happy Day if it's not Christmas for you, and um, stay tuned for more videos.